Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound NH42SO3. Now, here's a trick, guys. Whenever you see that you have three or more different elements on your ionic compound, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. In this case, we have four different elements. We have N for nitrogen, H for hydrogen, S for sulfur, and O for oxygen. Now, remember that an ionic compound should technically have a metal in there. But if we did look at these on a periodic table, nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, those are all non-metals. So if you have an ionic compound and you don't have any metals, this means that you have two polyatomics. Remember, the polyatomics are never going to be on the periodic table. They're always going to be memorized. So in this case, I wrote down the ones that we should memorize. And that's how we can, you know, spot them out on a compound. NH4, which is always a plus one charge, is always called ammonium. So here's the NH4. I know that I have this polyatomic. I just have two of them, but that doesn't matter. And then SO3 is another polyatomic. SO3 with a negative two charge is always called sulfite. And here is the SO3. So I now have two polyatomics. Two polyatomics always come together via an ionic bond. So we can just start naming. Since we're dealing with polyatomic ions, those names always stay the same. NH4 comes first. So ammonium is going to come first. That name stays the same. So it's ammonium. And then SO3. SO3 with sulfite. That name stays the same because it's a polyatomic. With this, since we have no metals, uh, we don't have to worry about any Roman numerals. So we're good. So this is the final answer, guys. nh 42 so 3 is ammonium sulfite. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought and give this video a thumbs up if it did help you. If you want to subscribe to the channel, thank you so much for that. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.